impossible task. I can't define it. I can describe it because the definition will immediately narrow it, I think. Um, it's a, a perspective, a mode of seeing um, people, clients, patients, whatever you wish to call them, um, as having something within themselves which is also uh, to be taken into account, the essential self, the core self, what in the Hindu tradition they would have called Atman, and that unused word, um, soul, would do. Um, and the sense that this can be called on, that the personality may be in problem, that they may be sick, quotes, dysfunctional quotes, but that's not the whole of them, that's not what it's all about. That in times like that they very often can make contact with that something greater and evoke its wisdom and its knowledge. Is it the same as spiritual? Uh, yes, I think it could well be, except that, that that word has taken such a bad press over the years, sadly, but yes, it's the spiritual self, it's the essential self. If the transpersonal is a perspective, is it sufficient on its own as a training or is it important to have another kind of theoretical background? Well, as a trainer in this, I think it's actually essential to have grounding in other things because it is a perspective. All our trainees um, have other disciplines, have come through other disciplines, but hopefully every one of them also has hit times in their personal life when they have had a sense of something other, something deeper, some possibility at least, that the personality isn't the only thing, and that life is a journey, life is an adventure, and that one needs some kind of wisdom, and they find it from within. So I would say in that sense they've had other trainings and other personal experiences. Then we have a perspective to add, to bring this more and more forefront, the essential self as forefront rather than the struggling, bumbling old personality <laughs> which gets itself into trouble so frequently on the journey. There's some criticism in therapeutic circles that the transpersonal is a preserve of white middle class. What do you say to that? You astonish me. Fortunately, no one's ever dared say that to me. But <laughs> uh, It can't be if it's a perspective, as we understand it to be. Then it belongs to everybody and to every person. And certainly a lot of people I've worked with have wouldn't come into that description at all. They come in all shapes, sizes, colours. I certainly wouldn't apply it where it's not appropriate, where the perspective is not appropriate. You know, if people are desperate for bread, I work with bread, not, not with spirit or the deeper self. But in times when people need to tend to other values to who they truly are and what they're truly about, then I think the transpersonal perspective can be extremely valuable. And class and colour has nothing whatever to do with that. Thank you very much. Liz, you're gradually taking over the training at the Centre for Transpersonal Psychology and one of your recent books was called Healing the Heart. How do you see transpersonal psychotherapy, its role now and its relevance in the future? The role of having a transpersonal perspective, that which transcends personality and allows another dimension, whether you call it transpersonal or spiritual, whatever you call it, I mean most of the time.